data case part one. So I've already shown you the data pronouns, um, but we don't always speak in pronouns. Sometimes we actually have objects we want to refer to. So that's what we're going to do now. Um, when we had done accusative case, the rule was that if you had anything in accusative case that was masculine, it got an extra N at the end. The dative case is going to be similar in that there are going to be different letters that we use. So um, the rule here is in this box for masculine and neuter. So in other words, der und das, we're going to put an extra M at the end. For feminine, we're going to put an extra R at the end. Now what I mean by that is if I had the word ein, and I know that's masculine, I would then write einem, or if it was neuter, I would write einem, or keinem, or seinem. We know that it all has the same pattern. For feminine, ein, and then I would put er at the end, einer. So your uh, magic letters for the dative case, m and er, we'll do plural a little bit later. I always like to do that in a separate video. Um, so I've got some examples here of where you're going to be filling in with the correct endings on the dative case. Um, I can go ahead and tell you these are all dative. Remember SVID. Subject, verb, indirect, direct. SVID will help you do this. Um, wir schenken blank Mutter ein Motorrad. We're giving blank mother a motorcycle. So I haven't really told you which word to put in here. Um, let's just go with our. So the word for our is unza. So we'll go ahead and get the word unza in there. But we need to add an ending. So let's look over here at mucha. That is feminine. So immediately we know that we've got to put that air on the end. So unza ra. Wir schenken unsere Mutter ein Motorrad. We're giving our mother a motorcycle. Now this verb schenken, this verb for to give is like to give as a present. Um, we have the other one, uh, geben, that's just to give. Just generic give. Okay, Nummer zwei. Der Bäcker kauft blank Vater eine Breze. The baker is buying, I guess we could say his father, a pretzel. So we know the word for his is sein. Now remember, we've got to put an ending there, so I'm just going to keep my finger here for the moment. Vater ist masculine. So we know we're looking up here, masculine. We know that an M will go there. Der Bäcker kauft seinem Vater eine Breze. Now if you're wondering why these sentences are a little bit weird, I'm taking the vocab from chapter 5 to help you learn it a little bit better. So just deal with my strange sentences for now. Nummer 3. Die Kunden sagt blank Verkäufer guten Morgen. The customer says to the uh, seller, the salesperson, good morning. Okay, so this one is masculine. Now in this one, I'm going to put the word the. So we know that normally Verkäufer, salesperson, is der. And that is masculine. We know this is in the dative case, so there's going to have to be an M go on the end of that. Well, I'm just going to replace that air with an M, and we get dem, to the. The customer says to the salesperson, guten Morgen, good morning. Okay, Nummer vier, das Kind gibt blank Katze einen Fisch. The child gives, it could either be to his cat, to her cat, a to a cat. Let's make it a in this one. We'll just do a nice generic. Um, ein, so we'll go ahead and put ein down. Now, we're going to have to put an ending, but we'll think of that in a moment. Katze is feminine, die Katze, feminine. So we're going to take that er and put it down here. Okay, that's it for now. I'll make a couple more videos in a few minutes, but tschüss.